third Sunday of Lent, evening meditation, March 7, 2021. Meditations are taken from meditations and readings for every day of the year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, first choice as teacher in moral theology, act of faith and the presence of God, and no more patri, fili, spirit to sancti, amen. Most holy, adorable, and undivided Trinity, one God with three persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility. I render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. St. Alphonsus de Liguori, pray for us. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win, act of humility. Litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, Deliver me, Jesus, that others may be loved more than I, Jesus. Grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus. Grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I provided, that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this, our evening meditation. Through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever Virgin, Ave Maria, grazie upon a Dominus Tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus, and benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus, Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc in hora mortis nostre. Amen. In honor of Saint Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray, Gloria Patri, Filio, Spiritus Sancta, Sicud Erat in Principio, Nunc et Semper, in Secula, Seculorum. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, it did instruct the hearts of the faithful, by the light of the Holy Ghost, grant that same spirit, that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Evening meditation, reflections and affections on the passion of Jesus Christ. As the soldiers, however, perseveringly continued their scourging of the innocent lamb, it is related that one of those who were standing by came forward and, taking courage, said to them, You have no orders to kill this man as you're trying to do. And saying this, he cut the cords worth the Lord was standing bound. This was revealed to St. Bridget. Then a certain man, his spring being moved within him, demanded, Are you going to kill him in this manner, uncondemned? And forthwith he cut his bonds, unquote. But hardly was the scourging ended than those barbarous men urged on and bribed by the Jews with money, as St. John Chrysostom averts, inflicted upon the Redeemer a fresh kind of torture. Quote, then the soldiers of the governor, taking Jesus into the hall, gathered together the whole band, and stripping him, they put a scarlet cloak about him and plaiting crown of thorns. They put it upon his head 
and a reed in his right hand. Matthew 27, 27 through 30. Behold how the, sh the soldiers stripped him again, and treating him as a mock king, placed upon him a purple garment, which was nothing else but a ragged cloth. One of those who were worn by the Roman soldiers, and called a chalmes. In his hand they placed a reed to represent a scepter, and upon his head a bundle of thorns to represent a crown. Ah, my Jesus! And art not thou then true king of the universe? How is it that thou art now become king of sorrow and reproach? See whither love has brought thee. O most loving God, when will that day arrive? Whereupon I may so unite myself to thee, that nothing may ever more have power to separate me from thee, and I may no longer be able to cease from loving thee. O Lord, as long as I live in this world, I always stand in danger of turning my back upon thee and refusing to thee, my love, as I have unhappily done in time past. O oh, my Jesus, if thou foreseest that by continuing in this life I should have to suffer this greatest of all misfortunes, let me die at this moment, while I hope that I am in thy grace. I pray thee, by thy passion, not to abandon me to so great an evil, I truly, indeed, deserve it for my sins, but thou dost deserve it not. Choose out any punishment for me rather than this. No, my Jesus, my Jesus, I would not see myself ever again separated from thee. And plating a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head. Matthew twenty-seven twenty-nine. It was a good reflection of the devout Langspergius that this torture of the crown of thorns was one most full of pain, inasmuch as there they everywhere pierced into the sacred head of the Lord, the most sensitive part, it being from the head that all the nerves and sensations of the body diverge. What also was that torture of his passion, which lasted the longest, as Jesus suffered from the thorns up to his death, remaining as they did fixed in his head. Every time that the thorns in his head were touched, the anguish was renewed afresh. And the common opinion of authors agrees that of St. Vincent Ferrer, that the crown was intertwined with several branches of thorns and fashioned like a helmet or a hat, so that it fitted upon the whole of the head, down to the middle of the forehead, according to the revelation made to St. Bridget. Quote, the crown of thorns embraced his head most tightly, came down as low as the middle of the forehead. Unquote. O divine love, exclaimed Salvian, I know not how to call thee, whether sweet or cruel, seeming as thou dost, to have been at one and the same time both sweet and cruel too. Quote, o love, what to call thee I know not, sweet or cruel, thou seemest to be both. Unquote. Oh, my Jesus. True indeed is that love makes thee sweet as regards us, showing thee forth to us as so passionate a lover of our souls, but it makes thee pitiless towards thyself, causing thee to suffer such bitter torments. Thou was willing to be crowned with thorns to obtain for us a crown of glory in heaven. Quote, he was crowned with thorns that we may be crowned with the crown that has been given to the elect in heaven. Unquote. O oh, my sweetest Savior, I hope to be, be thy crown in paradise, Obtain me, obtaining me salvation through the merits of thy sufferings. There will I forever praise thy love and thy mercies. Quote thy mercies of the Lord will I sing forever. Yea, I will sing them forever. Concluding prayer, I give thee thanks, O God, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me, I make a firm purpose of my will that I may in uniformity with your divine will, O triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well. For the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life and rule of life now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which I was thereto born with me. I see that although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I now resolve to give myself entirely to thee. 
Why should I delay that thou mayest abandon me and that death may find me as miserable and grateful as I've been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance in my holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory, for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In the name of the Patria, Filii, Spirit, the Son, Amen. Have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.